Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a couple of new makeup products that we're going to have a little try with. Some of them are Poundland and I've got one here from B&M. We've already tried out this W7 Genius Light Foundation, Feather Light Foundation, but we're still going to be using this today. I want to give it another try because as I can recall, I was not too keen on it. Last time we tried it, I have tied my hair back. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to start off with the foundation. I do have baby wipes here at hand because I get a little bit of a messy pup when it comes to trying foundation. So, I'm just going to take one of those out. The first thing that I am going to try today is I'm not going to put any uh, primer on my face because I've packed that for my holiday and to be honest I can't quite be bothered so we're just going to go straight in with this now this I actually got from Poundland it is by the brand Manhattan everything from the Poundland of course is how much? a pound so I'm not quite sure on this colour to me it looks pretty orange I don't know um, it's 30 soft porcelain so I don't know we're just going to have to have a go I've got my mirror right here um, hopefully we don't need any mirrors, uh, any makeup brushes from the back because I do have some here but we shall see. So when you take the lid off, the lid, I like the texture of the lid, it's like a, um, well it's plastic but it's like a weird plastic, I don't know. Anyway it's cool. So then you get this little tab thing here so we're going to, oh my lord, woo, oh I like that, look at that, it looks like jelly, it's not actually moving. Smells like a normal foundation. It doesn't smell nasty. It hasn't got a strong scent to it. Hmm. I don't know. And then I also have the blending sponge, which I don't actually. Yeah, I thought so. My um, setting spray is also in the suitcase. Not good. We're just gonna go without wetting it. We'll give it a try without wetting it. I don't know. Isn't this just cool? Look at it. It's like a marble effect. I really, really love this. So I'm not going to go too totally wild with this. We're just going to have a look because I have a big feeling this is not going to look right. But, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like basically like a mousse in there. That is really cool. Oh, that's not a bad shade at all, guys. That's okay. I feel with a face primer you'd probably see it a lot better. Let me just get this bigger end in here. It's like only just fits in. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna go for it. I feel oh we should have wet this sponge, you know, but oh well. I didn't, so it's not a big deal. The thing with this sponge, um, it's not very bouncy, it feels, I mean it's good squish but it's not really really bouncy on your face so I feel like I'm really having to press in to get the product on the way I want. Take some more for the other side, ooh that's cold, feels nice. One thing that I do want for my bedroom is a mini fridge because I always find round about summertime my lipsticks start to melt. Random I know but they do you know, they start to melt. So I've got an idea that if I get one of those mini teenage fridge things and just put it like on the end of my vanity desk, beauty desk, whatever you want to call it, you know and just store a couple of my lipsticks that I really don't want to lose. And that'd be a pretty cool idea. I'm actually really loving this foundation. Honestly, from the day that I got it from Poundland, I have been dreading putting it on, been dreading trying it because of the colour. But I keep thinking that it smells a little flower flora flowery? Flowery. I don't know, it has a very slight scent, which I'm not hating right now, I think it's really nice. But I really like that. 
You know what? I could be switching my foundations out and I think this one's going to go on holiday with me. No lying because I like it. I can't get over how much I like that. And here's me stressing, thinking, oh my God, it's going to look a mess. But no, that is perfect. That is my shade. I'm definitely taking that one on holiday. So I'm going to be switching that out. Don't, not even going to bother trying that now. I'm really happy with that foundation. It feels so light. I don't know if this one is a light one. Oh, it's a, it's a breathable, natural finish foundation. It's definitely breathable. I can hardly tell that it is on there. Still needs to dry in some places. Uh, this will last for 15 months once opened and it is made in Monaco. Monaco? Monaco. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. I love this. I'm definitely going to buy another couple of these most probably. You get uh, 0 0.84 base level it's 25 mil. I like it. I'm definitely going to get some more of that. So yeah, the blender, I can work for the blender. I mean, it's not that bad, you know, it's not the worst that I've ever had. Uh, but it is a really hard textured one and don't forget guys I did not wet it as well if I wet it it may have softened it up a little bit so I think I'll take that on holiday as well I like that Ooh, we're on a good start today guys okay so the next thing that we are going to apply today is a blusher the only new blusher that I have actually I tell a lie I have two blushes here we have got a Rimmel London uh, this is a cream blush. Let me just take this out of the packaging. So this is in the shade Peach Jewel. And it looks like that. There's no mirror there. It's just how I hold them. But it looks like that. Really, really peachy orangey shade. Let's have a swatch here. Ooh, it's a very nice cream, I must say. Doesn't smell of anything whatsoever, but it looks like that. Oh, I like that. I know it seems really... Let's just have another swatch here. It does seem very, very sheer, but I can't stand the blushes where they're really, really powerful on your face and you look like a blooming doll. I really hate those. But that is a really pretty colour. Ooh, I'm excited about that. So that could be going on holiday. I think I could be switching all of my holiday makeup out that I've packed, you know, guys, because this is really, really cool. Um, so there's that option. Then the other option for a blusher is the Blushing Hearts. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous, but it is all very hot pinks. Um, it really intimidates me, this one. The colours do, anyway. Let's take some swatches here and we will see what we think. Now the texture of this is not soft whatsoever. I think it is quite hard. Uh, but wow for the colours that's all I can say so there they are there I'm just gonna swatch them on my ha oh my gosh <gasps> blushes look at that blushes hell no eyeshadows yes I think that would work beautiful for eyeshadows and believe me guys makeup is your own art you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to wait for eyeshadows, then why the hell not? I've, I've used uh, blushes before for eyeshadows. Especially that middle one, I think, would make a beautiful eyeshadow. Um, how they are going to feel as a blush, I, I really think they're going to be too powerful. So, <coughs> oh God, I'm trying to choke myself now with powder. What I do have right here is a blusher brush. I'm just going to give it a whirl in here. Not too heavy because you see what I mean? It's like really, really heavy now. Give it a tap on the trusty mirror. I'm just going to do it on a clean hand now just to... Oh. One second. Hmm. Okay, so I have swatched it with the brush. I'll even show you there. Okay. You know exactly what I'm doing there. Oh, that's a bit better. But um, again, it goes on really, really subtle. Very, very shiny. Lots of pixels of glitter in that. Honestly, guys, I'd use it for um, an eyeshadow. 
I don't know if I'd feel comfortable putting that on as a blusher. So I'm not going to do that today in this video. We are going to go with the peach. So, peach here it is. I'm just wondering if I have got... Hmm. Okay. Just going to drag some more brushes over here, guys, because I really don't think that, that the brushes over there are going to do it for me. We need the brushes that are just going to fill the fantasies of the makeup life. Don't get too carried away. So anyway, here is the blusher. We are now going to apply some... <sighs> what are we on now? Blusher. I don't, I've not got any brand new contour, so I'm not going to be doing that today. Because uh, we haven't got any, but we've got the blusher anyway. So I'm just going to swirl that in there. As you can see, you do not need a lot. This is all going to be about blending. Yeah, let's just have a look. Okay. I can see it going on very, very, very subtle. But there's nothing going on there. So let me just get some more product. Come on, don't be shy, get on the brush. There we go. Let's have a little bit. What if we just. Oh my god, where is it? I know I said I didn't like it really strong, but this is taking the Mickey, guys. <laughs> this is actually taking the Mickey. Okay, let's have a different brush. I can't just put it on with my fingers, can I? Shall we? I don't. Okay, let's just do it. Stuff it. If we can swatch it, we can apply it by finger. So here it is. Okay, let's see if that can... Hmm. Okay, this is so not professional doing it with your fingers, guys, but whatever. It doesn't seem to want to go on with the brush, which is really annoying me right now. You can't really see that. So, I mean, I like it. I don't like my phone me um blusher to be super duper strong so it's not that bad i guess <laughs> you can't even see it how disappointing is that oh no all right well let's put some more on more look for a challenge, I don't care if I have to build it up. This is really annoying me now. Alright, you know what, instead of using an actual brush, I'm going to go back in with a sponge. And we're going to see if that will help. I'll go back in with this one, and we'll see if that will help to blend it out a bit more. Hmm. I feel like that has applied it a little bit more better. I feel like hair has gone really patchy though, so let me just grab some on. Oh, heck. That's gone really pigmented now on there. Oh, hello. Hello, blusher. Yeah, it's definitely applying a lot better with the sponge. So let's just do the other side so at least we look like we are kind of matching. <laughs> Okay, I'd say that would be okay. Yep. So yeah, it definitely applies a lot more easier with a sponge than what it does an actual brush or the finger. So definitely apply that with your sponge. The one thing that I do want to apply, if I have any, that is, if I've not packed it, we'll use the NYX. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the NYX. You can get this from B&M. So, um... Yeah, I am just going to go in with this. This is the only product that we are going to be cheating with. Actually, I lie again because I am actually going to be cheating with an eyeliner and mascara because I have... No, not a mascara because I have one. Ding, ding. But an um, eyeliner, we may certainly have to use... I don't know yet. In here. So, yeah, we're going to use this now. So, I want my big Olivia Hale brush. Yep, Olivia Hale. So, I'm just going to bap it in there, get the baps all covered. 
I'm actually surprised I've not covered my top yet. That'll do because I don't want it to overdo. So that is that. Uh, I like that product, by the way. It's good stuff. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if there's anything else, really. I have got an eyeliner, but I am also going to be doing a palette review for my next video. So, um, yeah, so basically we have tested out today. We have tested the blusher, which I repeat again, is best to be used with this sponge that we did test out. The sponge, I actually do like it. I think it would work better when wet. Um, but it applies the foundation perfect and the the blusher beautiful I love it this foundation I'm absolutely shook with because I honestly thought this was just going to be a really nasty color on my skin skin tone but to be honest it applied gorgeous and I'm going to go back and get more of that uh, yeah that's from the Poundland both of them are from the Poundland um, and the hearts are from the Poundland uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just try a little bit of the highlighter. We've not even tried the highlighter yet, but first of all, I think we will actually try this because we're all about trying new products in this video from the Poundland, I guess, because it's all basically the Poundland. Uh, so I need a... I'll use this to apply the blush, why the heck not? So I'm just going to whirl that around there. I'm putting this all the way up there you're only there I don't even know why I did that <laughs> but anyway see so yeah, I'm just gonna swirl that there and I'm gonna just blob blob it on okay 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 so it has gone on I can I've noticed it has changed into like a shimmery pink I don't know if you guys can see that let's flick a light on there I like it. I mean, it's. I can't really make my mind up with this, guys, because when you when you do it on a wet surface of your skin, it comes up like the most beautifulest eyeshadow. To be honest, I personally think I will be using this one as eyeshadows. I think that's definitely going to be used as eyeshadows from me, um, because I just prefer it better as eyeshadows than what I do a blusher. To be quite honest. It doesn't really have much colour as a blusher. It's just more like a sheer shimmer. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Then next we're going to try from Poundland is the Triple Baked Highlighter. So I'm going to try the highlighter with a Echo Tools. I like to apply a lot. So this has also got brown bits in there, but I don't want the brown bits. First of all, we will do some swatches because we always like to do swatches on new products. Again, it's not super duper soft. It's just a, like a rock hard brick. Uh, but there they are right there. Here are the swatches. Just neaten them out a little bit. And there they are, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Again, you could probably get away with using them two as eyeshadows, that one as a highlighter, and that's what I'm going to do. So, we're going to try that light one for a highlighter. Let's get this done. So clearly, I don't want too much, or do I not want too much? Because we love highlighter. Again, doesn't want to use the, um, whoa, okay, holy poo, hmm, this is really hard to apply, I think it's the brush to be honest, it's not the actual product, it's just the brush that's kind of making it a little hard at the minute I like it it's very very shimmery really pretty 
gonna put some is that light even on no the light's gone in my mirror beautiful hmm That's a nice little highlight of the cream, the white one. Other two brown bits I would use as a um, eyeshadows. So that is definitely it for this. I do actually have one more product. It is just a lip gloss type thing. I keep saying that's it, and then I keep finding new ones. Go figure. So let's have a look at this. So this is a. Balm and blush. Oh, that's interesting. So you can actually use this as a blush and a lip balm. I didn't know that. This is by Maybelline, I think. Yeah, Maybelline, New York. We're just going to put this on the lips. I know we haven't got any eye stuff to try in this video, but don't worry because I have another video coming with a palette. So we're just going to try these on the lips. Seen things there. Honestly, honestly, guys, I do not know how the heck you would use that for a blusher because on my lips there is no colour whatsoever. No colour. Like, what? Innocent Peach it's called, but I do like it as a lip product. Um, so yeah, it's not bad as a lip product. It doesn't taste nasty and it doesn't smell of anything. No, it doesn't smell of out, doesn't taste of anything, so there we go, that is that. The eye mascara we're going to try in the next video to go with the palette. And that is it, guys. That is all the things that we have looked at from the Pound Shop. Uh, is that everything that we got from the pound shop? Yeah, and one thing from B and M, which actually wasn't even meant to be in this, whatever. But it is. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I really do love these. I know I keep raving about them, but I do. I think they're better as eyeshadows, like I've said a zillion times. Sponge would have been better wet. This I'm at, still shook about. Really, really good. This, I think, is a load of crap. It's not even a blusher. There's no pigment whatsoever. It just looks like I've put a plain lip balm on the lips, but it's still got as a lip balm. That is best to be used with your sponge. So I'm going to leave it there now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If you're not yet part of the Sparkle family, then please do sprinkle some glitter on the subscribe button and become one of our little sparkles to join me star yes i'm gonna leave you there now thank you very much for watching guys bye